Let's see how IntelliJ Ideas JPA Buddy plugin makes it easy to work with JPA and Spring Data JPA. Here I have my IntelliJ Idea Ultimate Edition and I am going to plugins. Here you can go to marketplace and then search for JPA Buddy. I have already installed the JPA Buddy plugin. Now let us see how we can use JPA Buddy plugin to perform various actions related to JPA and Spring Data JPA. Here we have a simple Spring Boot application which uses Spring Data JPA and I am using Flyway for database migrations. Here you can see there is a users table, posts table and comments table. Now I already started my database and also I connected to the database from my IntelliJ Ideas database tool support. Here you can see we have connected to Postgres and we can also see there are users, posts and comments table. Now I want to generate JPA entities from these tables and also I want to create repositories from my entities. So let's see how we can use JPA Buddy plugin to generate the entities and then repositories. Once the JPA Buddy plugin is installed, you can go to new and here you will see the option JPA entities from DB. And here you can see the data source connection here and then you can select for what are the tables you want to generate the entities for. Here I want to generate for users and here you can see already it identifies what are all the properties, uh, columns we have and then uh, map the properties. And also here you can see associations. Here a user can have uh, one to many association but I don't want to have a JPA entity to have a collection of posts so I am not selecting this one. And here we have posts. Again, uh, if I select, it will automatically map all the properties and also here we can see uh, it has a one to many association to comments. So let's say I want to have one to many association from posts. Now I can select this and if I go to comments here, it is already selected and here you can see post ID, which is mapping to post entity with a many to one association. Now I can uh, click on OK and it is going to generate all the entities like uh, here I have comment and it already inspects the database uh, schema and table structure and then map uh, based on what type of uh, uh, ID generation strategy we have used and all the properties it is going to map. And now we have all the entities for user, post and comments. Now I want to generate the repositories as well. Usually uh, you are going to generate uh, use repository only for the uh, aggregate route. Let's assume for the sake of discussion we have uh, user and post are the aggregate routes but not comment. Now I am I want to create a repository for uh, user and also for post. Now again using JPA Buddy plugin I can generate them very easily. Now again I can go to new. Here you see Spring Data JPA repository and here I can select for which entity I want to generate. Let's say I want to generate for user and you can change the name if you want and also you can choose which parent uh, you want to extend from. You want to extend from JPA repository or simple CRUD repository or you want to have a pagination uh, sorting uh, support. You can select this but let's go ahead with the JPA repository and you can select and OK it is going to generate uh, only for user repository but there is also another feature where you can select bulk and you can select at once you can select multiple uh, entities and then you can generate the repo repositories for multiple entities at once you don't have to do it separately for every entity again I am selecting the parent as JPA repository and then clicking OK so now you can see we have both post repository and user repository created. So it is that easy with the JPA Buddy plugin. You can right away generate the entities from the database structure and also you can generate the uh, repository Spring Data JPA repositories which you usually create for aggregate routes and then you can generate them all at once. You don't have to do it uh, for every repo uh, JPA entity separately. JPA Buddy plugin provides a lot more features and this is just scratching the surface. Stay tuned for more videos on JPA Buddy plugin. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.